Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. Today we are taking a look at the Orange Royal Chromo Pack. So you can see it's a countdown, so you can give it to any single character you want. Or you could decide to split it in three. You can see it contains the or Orange Royal Chromo 1, Chromo 2, Chromo 3. So let's consume it. So we got the three chromas. And you can see that each chroma is also a countdown. So you could decide to give the chroma 1 to one character, chroma 2 to another character, and chroma 3 to a third character. We're not going to do that, we're going to give them all to this one character. So once you do that, you go to your style tab, you go to your material tab, and you can see in your available material list, or orange or yellow chroma 1, chroma 2, chroma 3. So let's equip them into our currently equipped materials. So there we go. So this is Royal Chroma 1. Reminds me a bit of the Forge Chroma material we got not too long ago. This is Royal Chroma 2. And this is Royal Chroma 3. And of course you can you can change the style for each single pieces of style if you want to. Let's do that. Oh, decisions, decisions. So you can see it's a pretty cool looking material. Although the orange is a bit, a bit brown to me, but maybe I'm just crazy. And I can already hear you ask where or where can we get this material. Basically it comes from the 9th anniversary gift that we got. And you have until January 31st to be able to claim your anniversary gift. So don't wait. After that it'll be too late. I thought we could use it to create a pretty cool looking orange lantern character. Using the official orange lantern set of gear, the avatar of Ophidian. Sadly for the chest piece, in order to get the emblem, I had to use the Tunic of Greed, which is also an official Orange Lantern style. Although sadly, they didn't fix it, there's a bit of an issue with the emblem, the emblem is not quite at the right place. Uh, but it's been like that for years and years, so if they didn't fix it by now, pretty sure it'll never be fixed. But here you can see with the official Orange Lantern gear, you can make a, make a pretty good looking uh, Orange Lantern uh, if you want to. So here's our evil anti-monitor armor. So you can use it as a point of reference to compare it with the other materials if you want to see exactly how they're different from each other. But basically they seem to be pretty much the same material. The one distinction is that everything that's orange will be different colors depending on the material you're using. I will probably try to experiment a bit with those styles and here I made, um, you can make a pretty good looking uh, Firestorm if you want. There's probably a few gold, uh, gold and orange uh, character I could uh, create. Again, when I get the chance, I'll try to experiment with uh, with various looks, various styles. But it's a, uh, it's a bit tricky. Uh, we're starting to have a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of styles. So I'll see what I can do. If you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below. And I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. Uh, I have roughly 2,000 videos about this universe online. So if I don't answer your question right away, just search in my videos. Odds are I've already made a video that answers your question. So as always, guys, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.